In this demonstration, I'll show you how the OXMART TFT can be connected to a LAN network. In this example, a TD Extract LAN G3 Ethernet port is connected to the Async port, which is connector 3 on the OXMART TFT. We have connected both OXMART TFTs to the network by using an Ethernet cable connected to these ports. The first step is to decide which module will be the host. To set a module as the host, press the Mode button. The status will then read Host Mode. The next step is to set up the IP address and port of the module and the module you wish to connect to. To obtain the IP address of the module on the network, press on Set IP. A keypad will appear where you can enter the IP address. To obtain the current IP address, press the Obtain IP button. You can then enter this and press Apply. You'll then need to enter the port number. You will need to do this on both modules. I'll now enter the other IP address and port numbers quickly. You will then need to connect the modules. To do this, click on the connect button on the host module. The status will then read connected and the connect button will disappear. Once connected, the LED indicator and keyboard chat will be enabled. The LED indicator will change the colour of the LED on both displays when the switch or the indicator is pressed. To activate the chat mode, you will need to press the green keyboard button. Once pressed, both modules will display the keyboard. You can then enter messages which will appear in the top left box and on the press of the enter key it will send to the other display and show up in the right box. The close key will close both modules chat mode. The project also has a multilingual instruction panel on the left hand side. To change the language, press the flag of the desired language and the instructions will translate.